Good morning. It's a good day. Welcome. Would you go ahead and stand? Thank you, Lord, that you are here. God is here. <laughs> you are God that is present. You are God that is. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank you. Thank you that you are here. And thank you you're not here in a way that is just to observe. But Lord Jesus, thank you that your presence is here in a way to interact with us. So right now we just open up our hearts, yes. we open up our yes. ears. Yes. Give us ears to hear and eyes to see yeah. what Praise you're doing Lord. and what you're saying. That even as Jesus only did what he saw the Father do, and I believe he spoke what he heard the Father speak. Lord, we want that kind of relationship and that kind of seeing, that kind of communication today. So we thank you and we expect to hear from you. Can you just say that? I expect to hear from you. Lord, we expect to hear from you today. <laughs> Amen.
can't help it whenever I hear that song and we get to that instrumental part. I just feel that there's just a sound, there's a boom, and I just, I see that picture of the King of Kings who loves us so much, the Father dancing. Would you, could you imagine that when the Lord takes a step, that it makes a big sound? And you know, I, I, I don't know if you, some of you, when you hear Dad coming, it's like, <gasps> you know, make sure everything's good. But I just hear, just hear that today. He rejoices over you. And I, I believe that when the enemy hears that sound of the Father coming, that's it. That's it. The Father comes to set things in order. So I just want to encourage you today. The Father comes to set things in order in you and all around you. So Lord Jesus, Father, dance over me today. And we dance with you. Because we know that when the Father comes, the Father of the house comes, that things come into order. It has to. There's just no question. You're in charge. Amen. is rising I can hear the sound of the enemy running I can hear the sound of rejoicing in Zion the king is coming the king is here I can hear the sound of revival stirring I can hear the sound of hearts burning I can hear the sound of redemption calling the king is coming the king is Rejoicing in Zion, the King is coming and the King is here. I can hear the sound of revival stirring, I can hear the sound of hearts burning, I can hear the sound of redemption calling. The King is coming, the King is here when you speak. Mountains move when you wake, the dead are raised when you shout.
when you shout all the nations cry out there is no one in heaven like you when you move the seasons change when you laugh kingdom shake when you come all the earth will say there is no one in heaven like you
emptied himself of everything that of his deity and who he was he laid aside who he was and though he was ruler of everything he laid that aside and become in the form of a servant like you and I it's an interesting word it means to increase capacity by emptying out so if we're asking the Lord I want more of you then God we just ask you this morning to that you would increase the capacity Anything else has taken up the room. You said that the cares of life choke away the seed. So we just allow you to come in and, and push out everything that did, you didn't initiate, that you didn't plant there, that you didn't increase. And we give you room. We give you room, oh God. Take up all the room in the house, oh Lord. We cast you, come Holy Spirit, and just invade every part of our being, spirit, soul, and body that our bodies become the expression of worship unto you, that our minds become filled with all of you, and Lord, our spirit just soars with you. We ask you to come, Holy Spirit, and fill up any areas that's lacking. If you feel empty right now, just allow the Holy Spirit just to begin to fill it up from top to bottom, bottom to top, just begin to overflow, overflow. By your grace, O oh Lord, I receive all that you have meant for me. I choose to allow you to fill up all the empty places, all the longings of our soul that you would come and take control let the power of your name be shouted from our lips that you take all that i say and use it for your glory enter into this house enter into this place we sanctify it for your glory we make it an altar of praise. We make it a place that we offer to you all of the glory that's due your name. Come, Holy One, fill our thoughts in all that we think. Make us as one. Unity of your spirit. Thank you,
Sometimes I'm strong, sometimes I'm weak, sometimes I fall in my wandering. But through it all, there's just one thing more precious than the air I breathe. Let's go.
jealous over you I'm not content until I have all of you jealous of you I am jealous of you I want more than your lip service I want the deep things I want the secret things I want all to admit I want all of you I want all of you I want all of you even the darkest things that you hide I want all of you I want all of you I want your best the best that you have yes I want it too I want too valuable to me child don't you know that you're precious to me and I won't leave you alone I can't leave you alone because you're mine because you're mine because you're mine I am jealous of time to stop resisting I am jealous of you <laughs> my love is exactly what you're needing I am jealous of you I'm really jealous of you in my hands is the only place that's really home so come home come home come home come home I take good care take good care of you if you'll let me if you'll let me if you'll let me I will take good care of you you can trust me you can trust me you can trust me I will take good care of you Amazing grace, unfailing grace that saves my soul. Grace, unending grace, unrelenting grace, you won't let go. speaking to all of us this morning and he's saying just come and you will receive grace in time of need that you come and you open up yourself and you come to me and I will grant you favor and blessing and and life and peace
peace and joy. The Lord is calling us just to receive it right now. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you just to close your eyes. Close your eyes and say, Lord, I open my heart to you right now. And I receive your grace. I receive the abundance of your grace. Your goodness. Your favor. Your loving kindness. Your truth. In the inward parts. Father, I thank you that you are present here in this place. And I thank you that you minister your grace to us right now. I believe this, this, is, this is a perfect time to just, I believe that, that, that God desires us to pray and to believe on behalf of, of Pastor Diane and I'd like Mickey, if, if you two would just come and you can just be next to each other, I'd like everyone to extend, extend your hands to them. If you want to, yeah, I think it would be good to come up. I think that we need to surround them, that this house is surrounding them. And we're just going to pray and believe, and Matt Het is even in the hospital right now, and we are going to surround them with the word of healing. I believe the word of healing is within each one of you that calls on the name of Jesus. There is a word of healing in each one of us, and we are sending the word of healing right now into Diane, into Mickey, into Matt Het. Lord, we are sending the word of healing that you are the God who heals us, that you are Jehovah Rapha, that you are the one that we call on in time of need, and you hear us, and you answer us in the day that we call. So we are calling on you, O God. We cry out and say, incline your ears towards us, O God. And we thank you that you are the grace that is sufficient to us in our time of need, that grace, great grace is upon us as we call on your name, as we call on your name to heal Diane right now in Jesus' name. We ask for the, the manifestation of your healing in this place, in her body, O oh God, the manifestation of healing in Mickey's body. Complete the work that you began in her, Lord Jesus. And we say the manifestation of healing in Matt Het. Complete the work that you began in his life, O oh Lord Jesus. We thank you and we call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who bore stripes on our behalf that we will be healed. We thank you, Jesus, for your healing. We thank you, Lord God, that these, Diane, that Mickey, that Matt, are the body of Christ. And we say that they line up. They are come into alignment. Their bodies come into alignment with the body of Christ, made whole today. We thank you for fresh bread of life that comes down. And we speak resurrection life within Diane and Mickey and Matt. There is resurrection life that is coursing through their veins. The very DNA of Jesus Christ is reordering the things in their bodies right now. And we believe it together, oh God. And we say together, as a body of Christ, we say, be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed today. Be healed right now. That we lay our hands on the sick and they will recover, oh God. That the prayer of faith restores those that are sick. Lord, we have faith and trust in you that you are our God and that you restore, that you redeem, that you heal, that you deliver, that you cancel any assignment that the enemy might try to, to put against them. Lord, we just thank you that those assignments fall. They are severed. They are cut off in Jesus' name by his blood and by his authority, by his great name, that these things are cut off, that the goodness of God flows in, the grace and favor that you surround. You surround Diane and Mickey and Matt. You surround them with grace, with favor as a shield about them. You are the glory and the lifter of their heads. Father, we just thank you for it. We receive the healing for each one of them today. And we believe in you, O oh Lord. 
we believe in the report of the Lord. We believe in your report, O oh God, that your word is set forever settled in the heavens. You settle it. You settle it in these bodies right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for it. Thank you for your grace, O oh God. Thank you for your favor. Let it be done. Lord, we just even declare, it is well. It is well in these bodies. It is well in these souls. It is well in these minds. It is well in these spirits. It is well in these heads. It is well in these hands. It is well in these feet. It is well. It is well. Lord, because what you have said, it shall surely come to pass. You are a God who is your word. That you send forth your word and you heal them. And we receive that right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, God, for your great grace. In the early church, it talked about the church coming together, and there was great grace upon them.